What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be talking about a bunch of attires that I want to see Mattel make in the next few Elite lines. I know that uh, some of these won't be possible, at least I know one of them, or two of them won't be possible because of the superstar that it is, but um, the rest of them I think that it's totally possible for Mattel to pump them out. They make a ton of these superstars and they could easily throw these attires in. We've had multiple attires from all these guys, so uh, it would be cool to see them make these. I challenge them to watch this video and potentially make these attires in the future. I'm going to discuss them here in this video, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first attire that I would like to see from Mattel, guys, is Elimination Chamber Finn Balor. Um, these figures are in no particular order, guys. I'm just sort of rambling them on here as I go through the list. But the first one is Elimination Chamber 2018 Finn Balor. I absolutely love this blue color. I think Finn looked fantastic in it. This figure on the left, I'm not a big fan of the head scan. However, the custom is really well made. I love the blue attire. When he first came out at Elimination Chamber, I, I immediately wanted this in figure form. And I think that he brought it to life here. As you can see, Finn on the right side, it's absolutely beautiful. I think even if they threw in the blue jacket with it, it would be a great accessory to go along with this Finn Balor. I think that his WrestleMania 34 attire was great. However, I would like to see some of his bright colored attires. You know, Royal Rumble in the red, Survivor Series in the red, and here again in the blue. Obviously, he has an all-white attire that he wore at a live event, but he hasn't worn it on WWE television, so I don't think it's possible for them to make it. However, what a beautiful way to get a Finn Balor. I would love to see this blue attire. Next up, we have a CM Punk figure, guys, and this is the guy that I said that I just don't see us getting it just because it's CM Punk. The only way we would get this is if he signed a deal with WWE and they wanted to pump out more flashbacks of CM Punk, but we have Night of Champions 2012 here in the New York Yankees attire. I'm a huge Red Sox fan, and I love the Red Sox, so uh, I absolutely hate the New York Yankees. However, this attire is absolutely beautiful. I think that the pinstripes over the white, which is my favorite color, I just think that navy accents white so very well, especially with the pinstripes stripes and this attire came out beautiful i think he had a great haircut that night and um it would obviously could come with the wwe championship and i would be a huge fan of this figure one of my favorite punk attires of all time i think it's this one up next to the one we're about to look at but i would absolutely love to have a cm punk in this attire Next up, guys, we have another CM Punk Elite. Both of these customs were made by my boy Joey from Showstopper Custom Figs, one of the best customizers in the game. But you can see right here we have WrestleMania 26 CM Punk. I love this attire to death. It is the G.I. Joe attire. You can see there from the graphics and everything. Everybody knows that CM Punk's a huge Joe fan, um, you know, with the Cobra tattoo and everything. But look at that beautiful camo work on the tights. I love this to death. We got a close figure of this with the ringside exclusive from 2011 CM Punk Elite, but this one's just great. I, I love it so much. It's such a freaking beautifully well done figure. Joey knocked this out of the park. We did get a Rey Mysterio from this match, but we did not get a, a CM Punk. It's probably just because, you know, it's too close to the G.I. Joe likeness and they don't want to get into any, you know, deals with G.I. Joe or anybody that makes their stuff. And they don't want any copyrights or lawsuits, so I can understand why they won't make it. However, I would love to see it from Mattel. Next up, guys, we have an elite Brock Lesnar. You heard it right, guys. Um, I know it's not a big deal. You know, we've seen this with the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar. We have seen this with the WrestleMania 32 Brock Lesnar Elite that was out forever ago, but um, this is a different attire. You can see by the back of the trunks, they do have the skull on there. They have his skull tattoo on the back instead of his uh, spinal cord or that little spine design. I think these are much better tights. I love these way more. I just love that skull design. It's beautifully done. Um, also, the meat hooks on the back of his back. I don't know if we've ever gotten that. Maybe, uh, let me take a look at my Brock Lesnar's right beside me, and both of them have their shirt on, so I can't even make a look at it without, you know, making a big deal and taking a lot of time up, but uh, I would love to see it. I believe the meat hooks are on there, but if they are not, I would like to see that. And just this skull design, it's very simplistic. It's very easy to do. And, you know, Mattel's pretty good at, you know, just making slight changes to attires and then pumping them out. So this is something that I could definitely see in the future. I think that with the re-release of the Ringside Exclusive in that WrestleMania 32 Elite line would have been a perfect time to use this specific attire from WrestleMania 20. So I thought that would have been a great time to use it. They didn't use it, but this figure on the left was made by my boy James from BC. Beast Nation 2018. The next figure I want from Mattel, guys, is a flashback Jeff Hardy. Not only Jeff, but I would like to see a Team Extreme, like three pack or a Matt and Jeff Hardy. Um, I'm pretty sure Lita and Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy are all under contract, so they could easily make us a three pack if they wanted to. 
And I just want a flashback Team Extreme Jeff Hardy. It could come with a World Tag title. It could come with a cloth t-shirt. You know, you could take off one of the shirts and he could have, you know, his armbands and it could look like the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. And this figure on the right, I don't know who made it, but they did a wonderful job. Not my favorite head scan, obviously, for a throwback Jeff. But they did a good job on the rest of the figure. And I think this could be easily done. You know, we just saw the new Battle Pack, WrestleMania 35 Battle Pack with Edge. And they could easily do it here with um, a new head scan. And they could easily just use the re reuse the Jeff Hardy mold. And it would be an easier thing. I would love to see baggier pants with a flashback Hardy. However, I just don't see them doing that. You know, they haven't updated the AJs. They haven't updated a lot of parts on some other guys. So I wouldn't expect them to do it. But I would still love to see a flashback Hardy or Hardy Boys set at anything you know ringside exclusive do a ringside exclusive double elite pack or a triple pack team extreme they used to do all kinds of sets back in the day and i know it's possible so i would love to see that from mattel um flashback team extreme jeff and matt hardy Next on my list, guys, is Unforgiven 2004 Flashback Randy Orton Elite in these light blue, gold, and black trunks. You can see by the custom on the right by my boy Scribble Customs. Um, he is an absolute beast of a customizer, by the way. Very clean work by him. Um, this is not the exact attire, however. It's very, very close, so I figured I'd put it in here. I believe he wore that attire in the Rumble or something like that. Uh, maybe even Armageddon or something. I can't exactly remember, but this is an absolute beauty of a figure. Um, Armageddon 2003 was in the purple attire, and you know, he, he used to rock all sorts of colorful attires. I believe that Royal Rumble attire was that exact teal color, but with black and silver or black and white instead of the gold. But this Unforgiven attire, I honestly, it doesn't necessarily have to be the Unforgiven 2004 attire, but I just love um, that one specifically just because he used to rock all the different colors. Like he had, you know, the SummerSlam 2004, Armageddon 2003, like I mentioned, and just a lot of colorful attires that I would love to see Mattel make since, you know, all he wears now is black and we get the same black attires over and over with different designs. I think they should go to a flashback and give us one of those great uh, colorful attires that Randy Orton used to wear. So that is something that I would love to see from Mattel and it's very easy to do so. They make Randy Ortons all the time and I know that he's getting the Chase variant in this next Elite 67 set so um i believe they've already decided the attire that they want for that but i i would love to if they changed it and went with one of his other colorful attires next up guys we have two attires from the exact same match we have triple h from wrestlemania 20 and Shawn michaels from wrestlemania 20 this is obviously from the main event world heavyweight championship triple threat match where it was Shawn michaels versus triple h versus chris benoit in one of the greatest WrestleMania events ever. It's just one of my favorite matches of all time. And I would like a Triple H and Shawn Michaels to replicate this from Mattel. Obviously, these were made by my boy Mac underscore decals. Absolute amazing and underrated customizer on Instagram if you guys aren't following him. But um, we're obviously not going to get Chris Benoit ever. Like, it's not, unless there's some new evidence out there that comes out and he gets cleared of all charges. And, you know, it's the hardcore evidence that Chris Benoit was not guilty. I still don't think they would release the figure, even if that came out. But um, this, these figures are incredible. I, w I would love to see the white boots Triple H um, from Mattel and, of course, that red attire from Shawn Michaels. You know, we haven't really gotten any Shawn Michaels from this era. The, the closest thing we have is the Walgreens exclusive, and um, that's the closest thing we have to, you know, a 2004-esque Shawn Michaels. So I think that they really need to work on getting some Ruthless Aggression era Shawn Michaels made from Mattel. So I would be happy with any of those that they make. I would lo also love to see a WrestleMania 24 Shawn Michaels. And with Triple H, you know, they pump out Triple H figures like it's going out of business. And we have seen a WrestleMania 19 Triple H. So why not go ahead and give us a WrestleMania 20 um, you know, this figure would be very simple to make. It's literally give us the Triple H mold, give him some white boots, and slap a decal on there, and it would be really simple. He had the shaven face, so I could even see him throwing on that, you know, fan central Triple H head scan with the shaven face and the shorter hair. I could easily see him doing that. So, very easy way to, ways to do that. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we got this in the future. Would be absolutely cool to see. But now, let's get into the final figure I have on my desired wish list from Mattel. So here it is, guys. The final figure on my most desired attires from Mattel is a flashback Rob Van Dam from WrestleMania 22 where he captured the Money in the Bank briefcase. 
Um, they could load up the accessories in this thing. Jacks actually made this RVD Money in the Bank briefcase. Like, they made it with the exact paint decals and everything. Like, when RVD won the Money in the Bank briefcase, he had it custom airbrushed just like his attires always were. And um, I think they, they could do it from a tell. You know, give us, you know, one of those Money in the Bank Chase briefcases painted up the way it was supposed to be. I think it says Mr. Money in the Bank on the other side. Very easily to do. You know, if Jax can do it, Mattel could easily do it better. So they could throw that Money in the Bank briefcase in there. They could give us an Intercontinental Championship. And this is the attire he was wearing, the red with the dragon with the yin-yang logo in the eyeball of the dragon. Um, the head scan for this, they could use that smiling head scan because I think that's a beautiful RVD head scan. Um, even though this head scan right here probably replicates his Elite 27 head scan, I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that head scan. wasn't my favorite one. Probably one of the most let down uh, head scans ever from Mattel. But uh, the smiling one, they made up for it with the re-release with the you know the smiling head scan on the basic and maybe one of those battle pack. Uh, it was it was incredible. I love the smiling head. I think it's one of their best works. So they went from some of their worst to their best. And um, I would love to see a flashback RVD. Even if we didn't get, you know, this specific moment, I think it would be really cool to get that briefcase, though. That's why I included this exact attire. However, I would love any of his throwback attires. You know, the Tiger Stripes, I would like to see any that he wore in the early 2000s. And, you know, the, the freaking invasion angle and even just when he was on Monday Night Raw killing it as Intercontinental Champion or any of his, you know, later runs when he captured the ECW Championship. I just want a throwback RVD, you know, we've only gotten one attire and it wasn't my favorite attire. It was a big lay down. So I would like to see them, you know, remake an RVD and make up for it there. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Comment down below what figures you would like to see from Mattel. Which attires would you like to see them make in the future? That pretty much does it for this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.